Hello again my friends, E3 is here, I'm in LA, and tasty new Destiny 2 info is pouring in. Can life get any better? I don't think so. So then, let the news roundup commence. Now, the latest issue of Game Informer has a 10-page Destiny blowout packed with new gameplay details, and oh yes, we're going to talk about them right now. Let's do this. First up, some very interesting new story details. Now, this is Ghoul, the leader of the Brutal Cabal army that invaded the city. Well, we now know who inspired Ghoul to commit this act. The Consul, a mysterious new character in Destiny's universe. Now, the Consul serves as a voice guiding the strength of Ghoul, kind of like the relationship between Emperor Palpatine and Darth Vader in Star Wars. Now, the Consul convinced Ghoul that the Traveler made the wrong choice when it gifted light to humanity, and so Ghoul took control of the Cabal Empire by force, sending the prior Emperor Callus into exile. Ghoul's attack on the city is a show of brute force, a way to send a very clear message to the Traveler. Only the Cabal are worthy of the Traveler's light. Now, the the introduction of this new character adds a very interesting layer to Destiny's story. Is Ghoul simply a puppet of the console? We know the console is being voiced by Frank Langella, so expect to see him in cutscenes. Next up, Devrim K. That's the name of the sniper you'll meet on the farm, Destiny 2's new social space. Now, Devrim has a quest that will help you understand what's happening in the European Dead Zone. And get this, you can interact with him using a new dialogue system. Here's how Game Informer describes it. A slick new conversation interface that produces greater emotion and character to animation potential, so basically a more sophisticated way to interact with the people you meet. Nice. Now you'll meet many characters like Devrim on your adventures in Destiny 2, each with their own quest and story to tell. Game Informer describes them as crafted experiences that will unlock the lore of specific locations on the map. Now this is Bungie's answer to perhaps the biggest criticism of Destiny 1, locking the game's lore behind grimoire cards that could only be accessed on their official site. The lore in Destiny 2 now flows naturally in-game and is told by the people you meet in the adventures they send you on. Adventure details remain a closely guarded secret, so you'll have to wait until the game launches on September 8th. Next up, PvP changes. The Crucible is now sorted into two distinct playlists, Quick Play and Competitive Play. Now, Quick Play is for your fun, casual experience with modes like Control, Clash and Supremacy. Competitive Play will have objective-based game modes that require more cooperation with your teammates. You'll find Countdown in this playlist and another mode that Bungie has yet to reveal. Now, you'll also notice that when a player picks up power ammo, a message will appear on screen telling everyone who that player is and what power weapon that ammo is being loaded into. And here's a subtle audio change. Super activations for teammates sound different to when your enemies activate them. According to Bungie, these tweaks will make Destiny 2's PvP more readable, more watchable and more competitive. Next up, Arc Strider details. Now, Game Informer got some hands on time with this new Hunter subclass. According to the article, this specific subclass feels optimised for melee play and short range action. Here's how Game Informer describes their hands-on experience. The roaming super looks and feels amazing in action. While still moving very fast, it feels more controllable than the Hunter's previous Arc Blade super. I found it easier to manoeuvre between targets both in front and behind me, and my strikes inflicted major damage. Even so, the super didn't feel invincible. In one PvE scenario, I got overconfident and smashed into a large group of Vex attackers, and their energy blasts finished me off. Game Informer also revealed this subclass's two skill paths. The first path is called the Way of the Warrior, which focuses on close quarter combat. The second path is called Way of the Wind, which focuses on speed and rapid fire strikes. I've left a link to the article in the description box below, which also has a full list of the perks for each skill path. Interestingly, the Hunter's Blink ability is not an option for this subclass. RIP. And here are some other things that didn't make it into Destiny 2. You will not be returning to Mars, heavy machine guns have been removed, and the quest log from Destiny 1 is being scrapped. And that's about it for this news roundup. Now guys, I'm actually in LA for E3 right now. Tomorrow, I get some hands-on time with Ark Strider and also get to capture some Destiny 2 gameplay on the PC, so stay tuned for that. For more Destiny 2 content right now, click this image. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for heaps more Destiny 2 content, and thank you so much for watching, and as always, hee hee hee. Until next time, Guardians.